my name is Erin Lewis and I'm one of the educators here at the Air Zoo. I am standing in front of one of the most amazing aircrafts ever built, the SR-71 Blackbird. It was built by a division of Lockheed called Skunk Works, first flew in 1964, and even today it remains a marvel of aviation and a little bit of a mystery. So if you want to learn more about the Blackbirds, how are you at your SR-71's A's, B's, and C's? Let's start with that A model. The A model, they built 29 of those and there are 18 still around today. This is the one that flew most of those reconnaissance missions. Also had two cockpits, similar to the one behind me, but most people don't realize there is a back seat. So you've got your pilot in the front, of course, and in the back cockpit would be your reconnaissance systems officer. He'd be responsible for helping with navigation. Flew about 85,000 feet high and about 2,100 miles per hour. This is the fastest air breathing jet that ever, ever flew. So how do you learn how to fly something like this? Well, you have to have a trainer version, right? So that's what we have here at the Air Zoo is the SR-71B. They built two of these models. One of them did crash in 1968. So the Air Zoo has the only remaining model. It's pretty hard to tell it's the trainer. It's got a raised back cockpit. So your pilot in training sits in front, your instructor pilot sits in the back. They have identical sets of controls. If something goes wrong, the instructor can take over and fly. But that raised cockpit caused a few stabilization issues, so they did have to modify the back end, the aft part of the aircraft a little bit to help stabilize it. All right, so you fly your trainer model, the B, you fly the A model. What happens when you lose one of the trainer models? Well, you need another one, right? Unfortunately, there wasn't one. So instead, the designers created a C model, kind of a Frankenstein model. That's Frankenstein where they took the aft section, the rear of a YF-12, and they merged it with the front end of an SR-71A, but the A model was never intended to fly. It was just a ground testing model. So when they merged those two versions, which they nicknamed the Bastard, it didn't fly very well. It had a constant left yaw, meaning it always kind of wanted to turn left, especially at supersonic speeds. It also had one less fuel tank. So again, it gave the Air Force all kinds of trouble, and after about 700 hours of service, they pulled it out and never flew it again after that. All right, so let's see how we did. Let's check over our ABCs. So the A stands for a lot. They made more of the A models and flew them a whole lot more. B model stands for that bump, that raised cockpit. And the C model stands for caution. If you're a trainer pilot, you don't like flying that airplane because it did not fly very well. All right, see you next time.